Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you're wondering why I'm dressed in this attire, we woke up to a beautiful frosted winterland this morning. I'll insert a few clips here. apartment kind of like a first floor apartment and because I can step out onto the balcony as you would have seen I was getting all the treetop cabiny vibes so we're in our lounge Victoria's Secret pajamas today I've also got one of my coziest throws with me because this is a bit more of a chilled video today it's the first video in a new segment that I want to try out so basically I write a blog which I'll leave a link to in the description below so every month I compile a great big visual board of home goods homewares that are just catching my eye and I also love featuring a mix of you know small businesses that you've probably never heard of and the bigger name brands that we all know and love so I thought I would put it in a video and see if this should be something that I do as a I don't know something that I do every month so to kick off the list we have Urban Outfitters which is one of my absolute favourite shops to browse around the home section is just so dreamy and I find it really easy to buy from. The first thing that I saw in Urban Outfitters was this Cosmic Orbit wall mirror coat hook which is £49 and it's in a beautiful gold and I can see it being such a lovely statement piece in either a bedroom or a hallway. The gold against a white wall or even like a dark moody wall would look so lovely. So I also found this beautiful boho sunset wall hanging for £20. I love the colours in it and I think the pink is what drew me to it in the first place because it's very similar to my radiator cover colour. That was a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> It would be a lovely piece just to display on its own, but I can also see it being integrated as part of like a boho gallery wall or like a dining room wall or something. So moving on to Alice in Scandiland. This is a beautiful shop, as the name suggests, very Scandi, quite Nordic, some beautiful products. And I actually discovered her on Facebook. I've bought a few of her things already, but what's really stood out to me was this peg rail, which I actually have. It's in the hallway at the moment. I'll insert a little clip here and it's 20 pounds it's got seven hooks on it and i love that it's just untreated birch wood so again very scandy and nordic i'm in love with it her products are really photogenic and the second products that i have featured are again ones that i've bought these beautiful amber glass bottles with the pump tops i didn't actually buy these retro labels from her but i know that that comes as an option but yeah I love them so much. So moving on to Lone Fox, who is very popular here on YouTube and is actually one of my favourite YouTubers. He has his own shop, which I'm very jealous of. And what stood out to me this month was his canvas prints. This colourful landscape one really stood out to me. I'm going to use dreamy a lot in this video and I apologise, but a lot of this stuff that I've chosen this month is very dreamy. And I can just imagine this on a dining room wall where you've got, you know, board and batten and you buy a set of three of these canvases, literally displaying them in three. And I just, oh, I think it would look so lovely. And I love the fact that they've got a lovely gold frame around them just to make them pop even more. I didn't mention it because it got really excited, but the canvases are $45. The frame isn't included, but I love that he used the gold frame as sort of an idea of how you can display them. The second Lone Fox product, and I really hope I don't butcher this pronunciation, is the Inglot Stoneware Mug. They're $17 each, and style two, three, and four are just literally swoon. I think it's the fact that they look quite handmade, so they're perfectly imperfect, which is just really doing it for me. And what a lovely thing to have in the morning when you're just waking up and 
you know, it's just the perfect mug to have for your morning cup of tea or coffee. I'm also really loving this Holton lidded box, which is $30. It's made of natural fibers and I love the texture. And you could literally put it on your shelf, maybe on like the center of your table. And the fact that you can use it as a storage box, it's just the perfect product for me. <laughs> and lastly, this beautiful Camden hand carved wood bowl, which is $27. I love all of those little imperfections on the inside of the bowl. It's a really organic piece and I think it's absolutely stunning. It's just another texture to bring to your interiors. Moving on to Graham and Green, who are a newly discovered home shop, and I love that they're family run and they also love global design. Their small clothes palm leaf, which is £5.95, really caught my eye. I love adding natural, highly textured, decorative pieces on our windowsill and our shelving, just because it adds, like I said, more texture, but also helps if you're lacking in some visual interest. The second product is these lovely set of four round beach clean coasters, which, as the name suggests, is a eco-friendly product, and I just love I love the fact that it says crafted from a rainbow of recycled plastic sourced from our oceans and nestled playfully amongst sustainably sourced pork. A beautiful eco-friendly addition to your dining table. I just think they are so cool and what a lovely thing as well to add to your table and when you've got guests round, they're a talking point piece. They look good. You're literally helping the planet by purchasing this product. 10 out of 10. So moving on to Dwellin, I found this lovely company on TikTok, I featured them in a few of my blog posts, they're so lovely, they even, I'm losing my voice, they even gifted me this lovely cushion cover, which they really didn't need to do, but I'm ever so thankful. It's so beautiful. And I've actually featured it in this list as well. So this is Dwellin's Green Velvet Leopard Cushion and it's now eight pounds. It's got this beautiful gold fringing, so a real statement cushion. And it's in this lovely soft velvet. So you just know that it'll be perfect on either a statement chair or if you're one of those people who, like me, likes to layer your sofa up, so you have sort of your outer cushions and you've got your inner ones, this would be so lovely just in front of all of them because it's long as well, just as like a layering tip. And lastly, their copper pipe candlestick holder, which is 30 pounds, a lovely statement piece in quite an industrial material, which I love. Really nice in the middle of a coffee table or on the dining table, especially in lockdown down times if you want I don't know a nice romantic dinner for the two of you and then it'd be a great piece as well to bring back out especially if you're hosting dinner when the world reopens moving on now to Cox and Cox and the best way to describe them is Scandinavian style, muted colours, very soft colour palette and very heavy on the natural materials and organic elements which I love and I'm really getting into that sort of style at the moment. So the first product is this lovely whitewash bottle vase which is £25 and I just love the bottle shape at the moment. I'm not sure if it's on trend but I just I'm noticing it more and more and I love it. It's also a great Scandi piece again if you want to add in more texture and visual interest onto your shelving or window seals with like those added dried stems coming up the top. So I also found a lot of stuff on anthropology, which shouldn't be too much of a surprise because I love anthropology so much. I'm really drawn to their sort of global design and I love how eclectic a lot of their homeware is and they've always got such a lovely selection. So yeah, let's get into our first product. 
So I don't really delve into homeware for kids too often, but I spotted this lovely Happy Forest organic bedding set for £25. It's made with organic cotton, so very soft and breathable for them to get a good night's sleep. But I think what captured my interest was the sweet little hand-drawn design that's all over it. And I think it's really nice as well to change your bedding up seasonally. I also found this beautiful vintage inspired small Noah bathroom canister for £24. I love the gold top and the glass together, I think they work really well. There's something quite nice about displaying, you know, your cotton pads, cotton buds, in kind of like a hotel-esque sort of way as well. So I also spotted this, and I hope I don't butcher this pronunciation either, Minetta, Mianetta? Minetta marbled round vase for £56. The marbled watercolour effect is absolutely beautiful. And the vase itself is in a sphere shape, which I don't often see. So naturally the whole thing just jumped out at me. £56 is quite an investment, but it would look so lovely in an entryway, in a hallway, on your table, like so it can have like centre stage. I am tempted to do some sort of DIY video where I create something similar, specifically the watercolour marbled effect. Maybe I can find like an old vase or an old bottle of some kind and just try that out. So the fourth product from Amapology that caught my eye was this Nico leather trinket tray and it is... £76, another investment piece. It says that it's orange on the website, but I would probably say it's more of a pastel pink. I don't often come across leather trays which aren't brown. <laughs> That's like, it's just quite a unique piece. And I love the stitching around the edge, it's lovely. And another great way to house your keys and your wallets or purses when you come in after a long day. Global design, tick. Eclectic, tick. And again, I'm gonna use the word really, really dreamy as well. And last, but by no means least from Anthropology, I spotted this lovely textured small vase, which is 36 pounds. I absolutely love the exaggerated handles. And just reading from their website, Portuguese artisan handcrafted the textured silhouette of this vase from terracotta. It's got that handmade quality and yeah, just a really nice way to display your dried stems and another great visual piece as well. Moving on to a more independent home goods company that I've recently discovered, Mint and May, which is run by a husband and wife duo, which I think is just really sweet and so cool. They're both into global design and they love anything unique and unusual. So that's right up my street. First product that I spotted on their site was this smoky glass vase, which is £29.95. And kind of going back to that gold glass combination, Really, really lovely. Quite a simplistic way of displaying your plants and dried stems, but the bottles themselves have so much sort of visual interest as well. If you're looking for new ways to display your plants, this round brass and glass wall planter, which is $29.95, is a great alternative. It's really bohemian, as it's displayed on the website, it can be styled in multiple ways. It is a great feature and sort of statement piece all on its own. When I had featured this on my blog post, it was in stock, it's currently out of stock, but you can be notified if you just add in your email. Really, really beautiful piece. I've just had a bit of a move around because I keep needing to stretch my legs and we're losing light, so apologies. <laughs> So moving on to another very recently discovered home goods company, Rose and Grey Interiors, or I think they're just called Rose and Grey. I think they're also a husband and wife duo, which is just super cute and cool. They are very design led. They focus on the latest trends in home design. They sort of cater for those people who want well-crafted furniture pieces that are going to stand the test of time. So one product that really stood out for me was their Firm Living Balance tea light holder in brass. It's £30. 
A great example of the current art trend and the geometric uh, trend. And you can just tell that it's going to be a timeless piece and outlive all of those trends. A really cool, kind of like a two-in-one product. You've got a decorative, very aesthetically pleasing decoration piece that you can put on your shelf all your styling places. And then you've also got a holder for your tea light candles. So you can't go wrong, really. <laughs> Moving on now to our second to last homeware company, Chickadee. They offer affordable, whole range of different style homeware goods, very, very trendy pieces. And I was really excited to share with you these first round placemats, which are £12. They are beautifully crafted using corn husk, which is renewable and sustainable. They would make a really lovely statement on any dining table if, again, you were hosting just a romantic meal in for the two of you, lockdown style, or for when, you know, again, when the world reopens and you can start hosting. They are really, really pretty, very bohemian, and I'm very tempted to buy some myself. And last, but by no means least, we have The Little House Shop, who describe this style as relaxed industrial living. They love mixing contemporary with vintage, and they don't really follow trends, they just buy products that they love, which are both beautiful and practical at the same time. The first product that I spotted on their site was this Meraki diffuser in vivid shades. It's £21.50 and just, oh my goodness, look at it. It's so pretty, very bohemian, and you just know that you could pretty much style this anywhere. As it suggests in the description, it would look beautiful on a tray mixed in with other decorative bits, but yeah. I mean, I don't know what it smells like, but just aesthetically, I want it. <laughs> also spotted these Mira storage baskets in the large size. They're £38 and I just love the natural element sort of Scandi vibe that they give off and they've been styled on the website in a bathroom and I'm just, I'm literally obsessed. <laughs> Now, when I put these on my log January wish list, they were of course in stock and they're currently saying that they're sold out. So I'm keeping everything crossed that they do come back in because I am very tempted. They are very swing worthy. Oh my goodness. And last, but by no means least, we have the Ravello ceramic pot vase with handles and it's 18 pounds. Clearly I've got a thing at the moment with vases and handles and I just really like this one. It's kind of country cottagey and you could literally just use it for anything. Utensils, plants, dried stems. I feel like you could literally put this anywhere and it would look great. So that was all 25 things on my January wish list. I am really grateful if you are still here and you're still watching. I really hope you enjoyed me going through all of that as well. I will of course link everything that I've mentioned down in the description below and of course my blog version of January wish list because I always put a little sort of like update at the very beginning of the blog. If you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up and let me know as well if you think I should do this as a regular thing because I did really enjoy it and yeah I shall see you in the next video. Bye!